The big shows are up 7%. The latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. PodTrack's US podcast publisher data for August was released. In spite of all of the publicity handed to them last month, the Daily Wire underperformed, increasing total downloads by just 3% against an average increase of 7 Ben Shapiro's show also dropped a place in PodTrack's top podcast ranking. iHeart remains number one for podcasts, with downloads up by 6.8%. The ranker measures participating publishers only. The Brookings Institution has released a real-time dashboard focusing on US political podcasts. It suggests that conservative hosts release three times as many episodes as liberals. In the UK, the Audio Production Awards has announced a pay-what-you-can scheme with Amazon Music and Wondery. Entrants and attendees who would otherwise be unable to enter can choose to pay what they can afford. In Australia, the Australian Podcast Awards are open for entry, the country's most prestigious and well-recognised podcast awards. The judges had more than a 1,000 submissions in 2021. Eminem uses a Shure SM7B to podcast with, we discover. There's a fun fact. Audiobooks are coming to Spotify reasonably soon. According to CFO Paul Vogel, Jason Kalkanis is considering hosting a 48-hour event for podcasters only. Send to Pod takes articles you're too busy to read and transforms them into an audio file for your podcast app a new service the developer wonders if it's too expensive and we link to benedict evans today writing about ads privacy and confusion he says advertisers don't really want to know who you are they want to show diaper ads to people who have babies not to show them the people who don't and to have some sense of which ads drove half a million sales and which ads drove a million sales Targeting ads per se doesn't seem fundamentally evil, he says, unless you think putting car ads in car magazines is also evil. You can read that from a link in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. And in People News, Dear Media has made two promotions, Paige Port to president of the company, and Jocelyn Falk is now VP of Originals and Development. It's a Monday, so time for some tech stuff. Rogue Amoeba has taken us through how the company redesigned Audio Hijack 4, an audio capture program. Balsao claims it's a new decentralised podcast platform. It uses the blockchain because, of course, it does. A web app is due shortly. The dump of podcast index data to be found at the bottom of the podcast index website now has a newest enclosure duration as a new field, which shows the duration of the latest audio file in seconds. Podcast Index's websites are no longer going to store any user's email address. Emails will be stored hashed in future, according to Dave Jones, speaking in the Podcasting 2.0 board meeting. And Dave Jones boosts Friday's rather subdued edition of Pod News. Good rundown today. The Albi tool looks great, he says. It does. The live tool also shows streaming sats, letting you see people listening. And hello, too, to Real Coach Andy, to Nick, to Matt Ciccino, and to Crypto Sino for your boosts and your listening. You can try boosting us too using the Fountain app. We really appreciate it. And in podcast news in Argentina, Historia N Podcast is the number one podcast hosted by a secondary school teacher. La Voz, an Argentinian newspaper, takes up the story about how the show became so successful. You'll find that linked in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. Lava for Good podcasts and iHeartMedia have joined forces to distribute Lava for Good's slate of shows. Bone Valley is the first new podcast under that partnership. An investigative journey through the swamps and courtrooms of central Florida in a search for truth and justice in a wrongful conviction. It launches next week. Should we be searching for extraterrestrial life? In Intelligent Squared US debates, one expert answers yes and one answers no. Astronomers and SETI Institute co-founder Jill Tata thinks we should. Theoretical cosmologist and Science Channel host Paul Sutter argues we shouldn't. And Phantom Power, a podcast that investigates the power of sound, will return this week for its fourth season. The show is hosted and produced by Mac Haygood, an author and sound professor. He'll be joined by guests including Dallas Taylor from 20,000 Hertz, podcast host Karen Tongson, and acoustic ecologist Hildegard Westerkamp. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 